game number one in the quarterfinals at the winner bracket Ranger Cup tournament. Rohan against Mordor between Pingu and Achilles. We wish the players best of luck. May the better player win. If the green Mordor player Achilles versus the blue Rohan player Pingu. Good opening. And Mordor opening with a Haradrim Palace actually. Haradrim Palace opening. A more defensive opening. I mean a more offensive opening. Never mind. And you know it can work pixel perfect. And you can get a great start into the game. But it can also backfire. If you feel it. It's gonna hurt you a lot. So this, the Hobbit will not join the peasants. That's a good thing for Mordor. Because the Hobbit is the best counter to the, Har to the Haradrims. Haradrims are kind of weak against heroes. His rock throw will two-shot them. But without the Hobbit, the peasants will get melted by the Haradrims. And in a 2v2 situation with the Golem, Orcs will win anyway. So in a Dream Vault, you want to actually send with, uh, your Hobbit with them. And use your other peasants coming from the farms to join, uh, to capture the settlements, you know. So he's splitting up with the peasants a little bit. But I think he shouldn't be able to deal any damage to Mordor's, now, to Mordor's economy now. Golem is able to stall to... Make sure that the orcs are able to win this fight. And the Haradrims shouldn't be melee fighting. They will get shot, the peasants. And you see the, the count is kind of crazy. They are hard countering the swordmen in the game. The thing is, unlike orcs though, the Haradrims of Mordor are not for free. So you losing them will make you lose momentum. And you will be more poor at the beginning of the game. But the good thing is with the Haradrims you can also creep a lot. right? You can get a lot of momentum. So he's trying to creep this with the, with the Hobbit, but Gollum and more Orcs are coming to just check this area. He has not drafted until now. The peasants were defended, no problem. Radrams are joining now. Two of them with some Orcs can actually creep quite easily. And when you want to make a choice of creeping, it's always more rewarding to creep this one, for example, over this one in the middle. Because then you will get also one more settlement for free, basically. In a, 2v, in a 2v1 situation, maybe Haradrims can burst them fast enough. Beautiful micro here. Haradrims are missing. There is, there is a dodge chance from a Hobbit. Every hero actually has a dodge chance. But if they don't dodge, Haradrims are hurting. I will represent the men of Chocolate Gondor. Jesus, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Can he get cloaked? No, Smeagol is betraying the master's friend. Rohirrim will be coming very, very soon. Hi, sir. Thanks for the follow. Free appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Hope you're going to enjoy your stay. So far, no economical damage dealt from Mordor. He's going to be able to build an orc pit and a slaughterhouse. His eco not looking too hot as we are talking, but it's going to look very, very good very, very soon. He needs two more Haradrims to get the Haradrim finish to level 2, which will allow him to recruit the Mordor soldiers of Rune, which are basically like pikemen countering not only the Rohirrim, but they're also way stronger against swordmen compared to Isengard pikemen, for example. So that means they don't die that quickly against peasants. I will be used for the first time into the game. One shot. And peasants could never ever reach the settlement. Mordor should be creeping this one, no problem for him. Good eco. Uh, Hobbit will be revived. And now the game will start for Rohan. If he can achieve something with those Haradrims, we will take a look into this. And with this uh, Knights of Gondor, not Knights of Gondor, draw him. Try again, dude. Creeping takes a bit of time, but they will get level 2 now, that's good. Getting the money will help him to fill up the base a bit faster. Remember, he has the wood bonus too. And if he builds one more lumber mill, he will increase the wood bonus up to 15% in total. Which again will help him to fill up the base uh, way quicker. As the slaughterhouses will drop down to 280, 297 actually in total. So now you get actually less wood bonus. That's a thing for a long time now. Compared to the original game. But when you get 5 Lumber Mills instead of 4, you still get the same discount. Like you used to have. Hobbit, again, trying his best, but will get one tapped. It's good when you play, uh, use the Hobbit against one Haradrim. But it's, if it's their two battalions, they actually can kill him way easier. So another creep will be taken by Mordor. Maybe he can even interrupt this creeping from the from the Harad, um, from the Rohirrim. Oh, what a hit! Beautiful hit. Can he get away? He's trying to. They are slowing down a little bit, but it looks like he will get in safety just barely. The creep taken by Mordor. Powerpoint wise, it's looking good for Mordor too. He has one powerpoint after the Eye of Sauron into land, 
So he needs only one more power point for the industry power spike. It's a massive power spike for the evil factions at the beginning of the game. It will just help you to reach trolls, Nazgûl, Witch King way, way faster. But this creep will be taken by Rohirrim. Remember, the Rohirrim can't really compete with this level 2 and level 1 Haradrim in a 2v1 situation. But he was able to take the creep and the money. Now he needs to run. Trampling. Ah, beautiful trample actually, not bad. But the outpost will be taken and Haradrims will be placed on top of that, which will make it very difficult for Rohan to ever contest this outpost anytime soon. So basically you need a hero, a tanky beefy hero like Gimli or Aragorn. Aragorn in an ideal situation because Aragorn hitting like a truck. But this game is looking phenomenal for Mordor. Welcome everybody, make sure to fix, welcome to the stream. Another creep will be taken by Rohan. Rohan's money is not looking too hot. Um, he has Eoma up on the field. When you have to deal with the rune soldiers, what you could also possibly do is go for heroes like Legolas, for example, right? Legolas is a good investment into the lead game. He has a crazy DPS. Not very strong against trolls when they have too much leadership, but he's always good when it comes to deal with Nazgûs or Witch King. Um, also Gimli can be good because Gimli is faster than the rune soldiers so you can outrun them and uh, catch them. And he also gives you resistance to fear, general resistance to fear, which is not bad and needed also in this matchup. But obviously if you can afford Gimli and you can save a bit more, it's just better overall to go for Aragorn. Not only he, he does way more damage than Gimli, but also he is offering you damage leadership which overall is just much, much better. We have Eowyn and Eoma, so they can repeat the spear throw over and over again and go for the lead game with the spear throw here, spear throw here, get Eoma slowly but surely to level four. But you could also do eventually is get dismounted and fight them on foot. The spear throw, spear throw, but if you fight on, on horse, ooh, the damage is kind of great. Oh, they are not in the porcupine formation. Beautiful trample from Eoma. And, King will ride and he's going for more heroes. So he has all the three Rohirrim heroes now from the Riddermark faction. But Mordor has double outpost, guys. So that's going to be scary. He has 3,000 in the bank. He has very good map control. Basically ah, all map. But he's getting some levels on his Elma. That's very good. It's a very good lead game hero, right? But in order to reach the lead game, and you need lots of money for this as, as Rohan. You need armory. You know, you need to get heavy armor. Forge bleeds, banner, then you need archer range, recruit three Yomon archers to get to level two, you need to buy fire arrows, you need to make Rohirrim archers, and all of that will be very strong when it's done, but the goal is to get there as soon as possible, and for that you need lots of map control to get the money you need. I believe very soon we will have to see a Witch King from, uh, from Mordor. At this point of the game, it's not good to go for See it? It's not just too good for Nazgul, because if you go for a Nazgul, you still need to go for the Witch King. So you basically invest 5,250 just to create some momentum, which you already have. So when you have this momentum with Rohan, you don't need to invest that money into the Nazgul. You can just skip him and go for the Witch King instead, and I think that's the plan from Mordor too. Yes, double Orc, uh, um, double outpost, Orc Pit here create lots of pressure. This farm is going to be destroyed very, very soon. Eowyn is level 2. She could look like a Rohirrim. <laughs> spear throw, spear throw. And also beautiful that he puts them next to each other. So they can share experience. That's pretty good. Okay, here's three Rohirrim. But let's be real. They can't really fight and play the game against the runes. That's not possible. How much money does Rohan have? Not much. That's the problem. He's not rich by all means. And there is going to be Witch King super soon. And after the Witch King, Mordor can just go for the for the troll cage, make trolls, make, I don't know, combos eventually. But you don't need that. You can go for a double troll cage. Witch King, eight trolls with two drama troll and go. And by the time you have this, Rohan will not have a lot of stuff to counter this. You can take this outpost down, by the way. You want to make sure that the Haradrims are just, you know, shooting at your heroes. He's going to use the Eye of Sauron. But remember, they have the leadership from Theorin. They have, like, heavy armor. They are quite tanky. Witch King has been recruited from the Citadel, I believe, around this location. The outpost will be taken down without Forge Bleeds. It will take you some time. But they are dealing still a good amount of damage with the leadership from 
Eorin, the damage leadership. Eoma is not level 4 just yet, but he's very close to get there. And Mumakil Pan is gonna be built up. And Mumakil is also not bad. Super tricky on it. Witch King is here. The speed throw will hurt Witch King a lot, but it won't be a one shot. So you don't need to be scared because after the speed throw, she will need to wait a whole minute before she can use it again. Oh, but she's gonna use it on the Haradrims and they don't even die with the land and uh, with the Witch King leadership. They didn't even get killed from the spear throws. <laughs> they are tanky. There's the Porcupine formation, land and Witch King armor leadership. That's kind of crazy. And now you just wasted your spear throw from Eowyn, the best counter to the Witch King on a rune soldier you couldn't even kill, you know? So Achilles is looking very good in this game. Lucky Rohan has three farms outside. Again, he needs time. When he gets time, he will be eventually strong. The problem is, Theodin will still take ages to get to Glorious Charge. But most, more importantly, you need to get him to level 3, right? For the resistance to the, for the horses. Fourth Eolingas will make them immune to fear. Eoma will get to level 4, missing only a tiny bit. Mumma Kill Pan and Troll Cage. That's the thing you want to do, right? You want to always do... Okay, he's going to be able to kill one of the... <laughs> one of the things. Like, Witch King can just farm power points here. Well, he does need to be scared. Because there is only one spear throw from Eowyn, and then she needs to wait. And beside Eowyn, there is nothing that can actually... Oh, he has even... Oh, he's going to die there, right? Won't he? Yeah, he's going to die, but he also kills some of his own rune soldiers. And that's a lot of money invested into the peasants. With the forge blades and heavy armor, it's in total, you know, 700 resources almost, or 600 resources. Human archers will be recruited. You need in total three of them. Spear throw and from both the heroes. But the Eomas one doesn't really hurt the Witch King that much. And again, Witch King just can keep going. He doesn't need to be scared. He has a whole minute time to just kill stuff. There comes the Alvin summon. But again, the Witch King can always screech. He's gonna screech. No resistance to fear. It has been too long, or oh, not long enough. But now you need to be careful, like you need to have like a sense of timing. Um, the thing is when you get shot all the time, you can't recover your health anyway. So now he needs to be careful, it looks like he needs to give up the outpost. Witch King is not gonna die from this, he's gonna actually be safe. And Rohan is still surprisingly a lot of farms, he has a level 3 farm around this location. He has in total 1, 2, 3, 4 farms, that's pretty good. And a whole base too, right? So he should get some decent amount of money, still. But until now, Mordor was only showing the Witch King, you know. But he has way more than the Witch King. Trust me, on that one, you know. He has like a Muma kill panda. He has Muma kills trolls. Everything. Soon he will have to deal with a little man. Should have stayed in White City. Rogue has show you strength of trolls. Okay, here we go. The Muma kill. Rally to me, just like in the films, bring in the Theodine. Which shoot him, just shoot him a little bit. If you shoot him, it's gonna be good. He can't recover, that's good, that's good. Now he's gonna be staying low, and now he's in a dangerous health situation in which the smite might almost, I think smite might actually finish him off. Like yes, I, from what I, what it looks like, it's like he has less than 50% HP. Oh, but he's, oh, my bad. Holy, he dealt heavy damage there to the base of Mordor. Destroyed actually half of the base, but he didn't destroy the most valuable structures. He destroyed, destroyed all the slaughterhouses, though. All the resource buildings are gone. But luckily, Mordor has still so much map control that he should be kind of fine. The Witch King will recover slowly but surely. Uh, Yeoman actually fire arrows. They are hurting, as you can see, right? They are hurting I'm like still a... Only counts as one. Ooh, the charge. We must join with him. Ooh, beautiful charge, actually. We must join with some. You wanna attack the Witch King, though? He will go crazy. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my God. He killed them with one single shot. The Witch King. Uh, Elma Spietro actually hurts this. But does he have darkness? No, he doesn't. Oh, Elma, 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 Elma. What does he do? Okay, the Zita has been destroyed. Level 2 Muma kill. The red things around it. Yoma should be spear throwing this ASAP. Now he's gonna get angry. Now you need to bail, my friend. Now you need to bail. You don't know what he's gonna go for. Ooh, the, the, the turnaround even destroyed almost the farm. Um, so, but 
like okay he lost only the archer if he, he demolished he didn't even lose the archer range he demolished it which king in the meantime was able to recover back to full hp so he doesn't need to be too scared about this but remember there is a level 4 elma which provides you 70 percent damage leadership for the rohirrim archers the problem is he has only one rohirrim archer and the money from rohan is just not looking too hard let's be real here right Level 2 Yoman Archer, he's gonna send in these orcs. The good thing is, Elma has now the outlaw leadership. So if he even kills the orcs, he will keep making money for Rohan. He doesn't make too much money from killing orcs, but it's better than nothing, right? It's always for the for the whole series, uh, whole series uh, pro slice. What's up, Zero High? Welcome to the stream. Mumma kill, Mumma kill got killed. Ooh, beautiful. But he's almost darkness too, right? By the time he's gonna go with the big army of trolls and normal kills, darkness will make them just significantly stronger. There comes the smite. He has no screech, but no heavy armor on this um, units means they are very vulnerable. He, they, he's gonna buy heavy armor now. Spear throw won't really hurt him that much. He's gonna spear throw watch the damage. Not the greatest. He's gonna cancel it, knowing that it won't really matter that much. But if Rohan, let, let me tell you that much, if Rohan gets to gets the chance to recruit like three, four more Rohirrim Archer and he's gonna get a fight around the statue, which basically will give him another 75% damage leadership, right? So 75 from this, 70 from Elma, 40 from Theodin. It's gonna be quite a lot and you can actually burst like the Mumai kills in a second. Even through Darkness, through Witch King, through everything. Remember, the drummer doesn't give leadership to the Mumma kills, but what it does is it does give leadership to the Haradrims on top of the Mumma kill. And Haradrims on top of the Mumma kill are acting like a Haradrim archer. They have like a crazy range and damage that should definitely not be underestimated. The outpost will be taken down. Mordor never recovered from this outpost too. Rowan is kind of trying to get back into the game by getting some map control. He needs time though, he is queuing up two Rohirrim archers. Outpost fully destroyed. Needs to be fast though, because they are coming. They are coming. What's up, Frequence? Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much, my friend. Okay, two Mumas, Trolls, Drummer Troll. They are coming. Rohan has no vision about what's coming. Even a Lambirimil worker is coming. That's how serious this is going to get, okay? Oh, but here they have a statue. What you could also do is build a wall banner or something. To get even more leadership for the Yeoman Archers. But you need to defend this. You can't ignore this. You need to come back now. If you come back like 5 seconds later, you will lose your whole base. The damage is kind of crazy. And for this fight, also the Darkness is available. Which again, will make them more tanky and deal more damage. The Mumma kills are not about the damage. Because if they ever get the chance to trample you with the charge attack or regular trample... By going over you, they can one-shot your whole army, right? There comes the Elven Summon from the Spellbook of Rohan. You can see the tiny amount of damage they are dealing to the Mumma kill. Yeah, the covering the land is pointless because Mortar is the land to cover this anyway. It's gonna just cover it back. Look at the glow, boy. Look at the glow. They are not hurting him. The Mumma is not receiving damage from the Elves. Too beefy, too tanky. The thing is, in a tiny area like this, it's super difficult to defend against two Mumas. If they get into this and a third Muma is coming too, you want to damage them before they can come or you want to beat the charge attack before they can come to your base. Ooh, charge, charge, charge. Okay, nice. Nice dodge. Now you can turn and fight a little bit. Witch King, Witch King, Witch King. If you can kill the Witch King. Ooh. Oh, nice. He wasn't able... Oh, he killed the... Oh, Battalion, beautiful shot. Look at this Haradrim's demolishing everything. Spear throw from Elma. Again, didn't do, didn't do anything. I don't think you can defend this, boy. If you can defend this, I don't know. The trolls are charging. The Mumma is coming from everywhere. This is like disastrous. Oh, my God. <laughs> the stage is going to be gone. You can't micro around this. Spear throw might be used. There comes the level 3, almost level 4. Spear throw, spear throw. If he kills, 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 kills. Oh yeah, it kills him. That's a huge leadership gone. The Mumma is burning. The trolls are smashing. What is going on? Burn, 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 burn. Oh, he killed it. somehow Theodin. All the Rohirrim marches are gone though. Oh my god, the Mumma is going crazy. What are you going to do about this? 
<laughs> go oh my god the moment is fiesta unit and he's gonna call it thing is gonna call it that's gonna be the game number one mordor is undefeated today actually back to back to back to back mordor was able to win spiritual from elma as you can see is hurting it deals bonus damage to the movement kills just like in the films he almost got, def got it to defend it too like i'm telling you if mordor would give him like two more minutes time if he would if he would get like two more rohirrim archer with this leadership some fiesta could happen but the money differential is huge 50 percent more money compared to rohan that's why Mor rohan was not very rich in the first place i will represent the men of gondor Worthy of and you guys for the followers appreciate it i will represent the we're gonna go for the game number two now as soon as possible let me spin the map for the game number two let's remove the forts of prunen king cookie and set it on thanks for the follows harad river is going to be the map for the game number two ladies and gentlemen achilles is leading the series 1-0 against pingu let me also update the scoreboard on a momento there we go, beautiful. Let's get it started. Arad River. There we go. Best of five. Okay, boys. I think that, I think that's gonna be a good series, though. Like Achilles was very good in this game, but I can tell you that the skill difference is not. Like massive, you know, and we, this can lead to great games. The matchup is gonna be Rohan against Mordor for the game number two. The score, as you can see, is 1 0 for the green player who is getting to play Gondor in this game. Previous game, he was playing Mordor. Now, here in this matchup, you have a couple of options as Rohan. And um, if you wanna, if you have a good start into the game, what you can do is go for an end rush and finish the game or try to finish the game as soon as possible. But if you have like a mm, start, you know, you can always try to go for late game situation. Remember, Ilma is a buffed hero. It's going to be not very fun <laughs> a matchup. But it, sometimes, you know, this matchup can actually turn into a very good situation too. You have my sword. Glimt, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Peasants, undrafted, chilling. Frodo! Frodo! Does he have no draft? He does have draft, but he's chilling a little bit there. With the uh, Marriott of Brandybok bringing more peasants to the location. He never captured this one yet. Uh, the Hobbit from Gondor will be sent forward. I think he's waiting for the 4v2 situation. It might be also a technology, actually. Outnumber them by waiting for additional peasants. Turn it into a 4v2 situation. Remember, there is no host advantage. Usually, this matchup is being quite heavily favored by the host. Because when you ho when you're hosting the game, the Hobbit Micro will be way easier. It will be way more possible to hit, run, rock throw, run, rock throw, run. Now, as you can see, it's not, it's still possible, but you need to, you know, it's not that insta, insta reaction, you know? Okay, Gondor is obviously going for the heal. Um, here, you should throw rock on the Gondor soldiers, in my opinion. <clears throat> on, the, on the farm. He's gonna use heal. Oh, nice heal. Run now. We must join with him. We must join with some. It would be one. Yeah, he will not be able to win this fight, the peasants are. It's gonna be close. But the heal was perfect, I believe. That's why he's dominating this fight so hard. And he's gonna get level 2 as well. So he killed one soldier, but the second soldier was able to get level 2. That's like basically the advantage of Gondor at the beginning over Rohan, because Rohan has to invest the power point into the draft. But for that reason, you are able to get more swordmen from your farms. But Gondor has the swordmen, which are using the block formation for more tankiness, right? And you have also heal, which is a combat ability. So it can help you. So, insta stable from Rohan. And also for Gondor. So pretty much at the same time.
Um, to be honest, the other factions already got like huge things. You guys always think about the one version the patch got, and I don't think Sharku is going to make Isengard broken. It's not like adding Gandalf to Isengard. You know, I don't think it's going to change a lot about Isengard. Having a semi-weak hero, it's going to be able to support the Vorks a little bit in the lead game. But remember, like, Rohan got heavy buffs also with, you know, Eoma being able to one-shot horses, even when they have armor, so you can get them late game too. Gimli has gotten a lot of buffs, Legolas has gotten lots of buffs. Boromir has been gotten lots of buffs too. When you think about it, um, Lourdes got only nerves. Like, right, Lord was Lord is originally way stronger than he is actually in this 2.22. Okay, creeping by Gond with Gondor. That's good. This farm is gonna be destroyed. That's a very delete peasant. I like it. Maybe the Hobbit can make it there in time and cloak to block the settlement. The creep was taken by Rohan in a level 2 against level 1 situation. Rohirrim will smash those knights. Even with heal, it doesn't matter. Almost heal for Rohan. Gondor is creeping, or was creeping this, now he's gonna try to prevent from uh, Rohan from creeping. And Rohan was able to block the settlement, that's very good actually for Rohan. I like it. Now, the map, the base is still looking semi-good for Gondor. He's going for a very fast knight number 3, just to have, um, you know, more units upon the field for the map control. There are plenty of creeps on this map. And you need like lots of horses to b do both, you know, creep and also deny your opponent from creeping, get map control. Like two Knights of Gondor are not going to be enough for this. Beautiful. He was able to destroy this farm from Gondor. That's going to slow him down a little bit. His eco is not looking too hot because of the fast three Knights of Gondor. It's a level two soldier here and a level two Hobbit. That's pretty good. Okay. It looks like uh, Rohan was able to get the creep because he's a level two. Oh, hear him. Nice, beautiful. I like it. I think Rohan is doing a good job in this game. Rohan is doing a good job so far in this game. Now, the most deciding factor is going to be his decision making, right? Will he try to finish off this game thinking that he has a good start, that he can go for the, for the end rush? It's a good situation here too. Um, but remember, there is also a Hobbit from Gondor which will eventually cloak here to deny... Rohan to build Entmut from this location, but Ent, you know, Rohan can always build Entmut from this, which would be a much better choice, because it's literally next to the castle, you have no walking way, you can just use ends and then just break the multiple parts of the wall. Um, also, I saw people complaining about Gandalf costing 6,300, but you need to see the whole picture, like you basically get money faster in this patch, right? It's not like we're nerfing stuff, but you just get money way faster than you used to. It's compensating the speed differential to make the heroes like semi not broken. <laughs> not very. Oh my god, hold on a second. Gondor will lose this fight. Gondor! Ooh! Oh, that's a good one. I don't think that was easy. Was it? I don't think that was easy. You just. Like, you had, like, basic two Knights of Gondor, very bad damage in a 2v1 situation. Level 3. Like, that's the thing about the Forge Bleeds. It makes you deal heavy damage, but you have zero tankiness. And I believe he was also using the Wedge Formation, which will make you receive even more damage. That's a very good thing for Rohan. It's not over yet, but losing a Knight in the farm which is blocked is not a good sign. And it looks like we have no more creeps left on the map Harad River. Gondor was just taking the last remaining creep. We have in total Rohan sitting only on, almost on two power points in total. Gondor has three power points in total. So Gondor had a good early game with the fight around this area with his soldiers against the peasants. He was killing a lot of them. Yoma level three. Will Rohan go for... Nah, Rohan is going for armory. So Rohan doesn't want to go for...
who is gonna have heavy armor before Gondor, you know? But that's a thing we have seen before in 1.06. Rowan players, some of them like to do this back in the day, just to have a strong horse to always compete with the map control. And with the map control, you can get all your stuff together way, way faster too. Now he's prisoning Gondor, as you can see and tell, right? Gondor can't really fight this anymore. He will have Theoden leadership, heavy armor, and forge blades. So you, you are not winning any fight here against Rohan anymore. Whole map under Rohan control. Rohan can actually do whatever he wants to do, right? He can even go for the end mood. Which he should. Okay. He's focusing on Theorin with the tower. He can go for Faramir to his warning arrow on him. That would be a possibility. There is one more farm Rohan will take. No outpost control so far. They are not stronger than Rohirrim. Boom. Look, he's also putting Theoden next to Elma. So getting Elma level 4, but slowly but surely also leveling up his king to a level 4 eventually, right? Glorious charge. The farm is going to be destroyed in a second. Ooh, the, look, the knights are getting melted, bro. Let's see if elves, though. No, he doesn't. He won't be able to finish him. But Elma will get another kill. Oh, so low. Level 5, too. Rowan has whole map, boys. Going for the archer range. I think by the time the Gandalf is going to join the battlefield, Rohan has already fire arrows, you know? And even some Rohirrim archers. And he has, remember, he has double leadership. Elma leadership is very important for the lead game. He has Theoden leadership. And he might even, if, he might even go for Aragorn later on. Rohan is dominating this. Dominating this. Not even close. Oh, he was going for the technology with the statues. To just get a discount on his Gandalf. So Gandalf the White is going to approach. And then Gondor is going to start gaming. Alvin Wood will be placed from Gondor. And I believe Rohan never covered yet. Remember, Theoden is very vulnerable against Easter Light. So if um, the tower is hitting him a few times, Easter can finish him off every single time. Like, Easter will deal like 90% of his HP with one single hit. That's why the combination of the hero, Faramir, and Ganav is always great. So you use Warning Arrow and Easter on Theoden, and you always kill him. Always. Unless he has heal, in which he needs to time very well too. So Gondor will struggle. He has still an empty spot in the base too. He needs everything, dude. He needs shields. He needs heavy armor. But then he will have to deal with Rohirrim archers very, very soon. Double leadership. What can men do against such reckless seed? Gandalf the White. Go, I will represent the men of Gondor. Dog enough. Little touch. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Hope you're going to enjoy your stay. Rohan going for the outpost control. Double outpost eventually very soon. Oh, that's going to be a feat. Little bit feat. One trample all alone is enough. Um, The good thing for Gondor is Rohan is a little bit far away from getting to siege him anytime soon. That's a good thing. So he can stall a little bit. And beautiful, look, he's again putting Theoden next to Emma and getting him to level 3 this way. So only one more level needed for the Glorious Charge, which is the ultimate spell for the Rohirrim and Rohirrim Archers. How much money does he have? 600? I've, but with this much map, he can also go for Aragorn very, very soon. He went also for the Grand Harvest, as you can see the animation on the farms. On these two farms at least. Getting lots of money for it. It's a good investment for the lead game. Gondor has full base finally. He's going to be also in a good spot once the blacksmith is hitting level 3. But that's going to take you a while. Not even the starting blacksmith didn't hit level 3 just yet. Gandalf. 
need to take a look into this wizard. Let's oh be careful. The level five heal has to be used. Oh my god. Spear throw. Okay, he needed to use the heal to save him. Oh, I don't know about that one. Okay, go back now, Gandalf. You don't want to fight this. Trust me, that one. Go back. Then you, you, then you didn't see. The, then you didn't see everyone just yet, my friend. I'm not the best player. Trust me. <laughs> there are players far better than me. Thank you so much for the primary boxer for two months in a row. Welcome back, my friend. Boxer just resubscribed for two months. Ahoy, L E T T S S G O O O O. Let's go. Be careful here. Ooh, but they don't even die, bro. Destroy it. Now he didn't destroy it. He demolished it. That's very important, by the way. Statues, wells, and sentry towers. They also give lots of power points. So for that reason, you need to demolish them in time. Every single time. Is it gonna go for the ants? No. It would be a mistake to go for the ants, I believe. Uh, without Aragon leadership. Aragon is gonna be like the one hero that always will make sure that you are keeping Gandalf away from you. Does he have armor? He does have armor and shields too. But the map control is looking very bad for Gondor still. The damage is gonna crazy. Huge army everywhere. Gandalf can look. Gandalf is on the field now for the last I don't know two minutes, and he barely was able to get any experience. So. Rohan is doing a good job dodging Gandalf every every time, you know? So whenever Gandalf is coming close and you can't fight him, you just, he just dodges him. He doesn't even give him the chance to farm any power points. Usually you see Gandalf popping off in almost every single game, but that's because people underestimate his damage. If you give him a chance to blast you, if you overestimate your own damage that you think, okay, I can kill him fast enough, which you can't, when you have not enough levels on your Rohirrim Arches, when you know he has heal, he will... It will look like you will kill him, but he will just heal himself. So dodging him and farming power points on the other side of the map is always better. And in a horse against horse fight, you can't win this map, this matchup. You need something that can counter the Rohirrim archers. And this can be, for example, combos. The thing is, without Farah Boro leadership, your combos are not going to be that strong either. And the second the Glorious Charge will be enabled, they will just feed your combos. Because then he will use Glorious Charge and use the normal Rohirrim to trample you. Going for the Stichu. Ron is planning to get heroes, I believe. He has double Stichu in the outpost. And one here. So he will get in total now a 20% discount on the heroes. Aragon, a hero who normally costs 3,500, will only cost 2,800. It's a cost reduction of 700 resources in total. We have the new boss. And Gondor not demolishing farms will also slowly but surely give Rohan the edge and the power point for uh, power points, which basically he's a, he's already leading this by the way, but he needs to invest two power points obviously for the for the Anduril sword, or he can not go for Anduril and go for the ends from the Elvin Wood. Let's see what his choice is going to be. And normally I would say between 12 to 20 minutes, a 1v1 game. But the exception to this rule is this specific matchup. Gondor against Rohan usually takes a longer time. Usually. But they've also seen lots of fast Rohan against Gondors. Like 10 minute game. But it's, it has the potential to last like a lot. Because right now they are preparing for the lead game. Like Rohan is getting stronger every minute. And he will get like to his ultimate form very very soon. He's planning to go for Aragorn, which is kind of which kind of it's gonna be the final missing piece of his puzzle. And then he will have triple leadership. Oh, lightning sword! Nice lightning sword. Actually, he's catching them of guard, charging. Oh, be careful using the ability. Now you need to bail. You need to bail. Okay. 
my wounds are great. But he has heal from his spell. That's that's okay. That's okay. He almost killed Theodin too. And he was he was able to catch both the heroes with the lightning sword. That's pretty good. Theodin is still missing uh three quarter for his level four GC. And Gondor going for the trebuchet for the camp situation. The thing is, if Rohan breaks through the siege, break, breaks through the walls, he has no protection for the for the trebuchet. You need some sort of protection for this. You know, tower guards might be a possibility, or like mentioned before, your combos. But Gondor can't afford all of that. You need map control to do all of this, and it looks like he can't keep the farms alive long enough, and not a single one of them has ever reached the level 3. The good thing is he has still the heal from the spellbook, it means he can play a bit more aggressive. If Aragorn now finally on the field, Aragorn is joining. You have my sword. Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, Josh. Oh, history him. You have my sword. Cyrus, thanks for the follow. Welcome. I mean, you can just use history on cooldown, right? It's gonna use it. It's not gonna hit too many, only one. But you can do this every minute, just to get slowly but sure your power points. Now we have Anduri Sword for Aragorn. Again, let's count. 50% damage from Aragorn, 40 from Theodin, and 70 from Eoma. It's in total 160% more DPS for the Rohirrim Archers, which basically are already countering heroes. With this many Rohirrim Archers and this leadership, realistically speaking, Gandalf shouldn't be even able to approach this. Look at the damage they already deal. You see this damage? And that's without Aragorn. While Gandalf is not even trying to fight. So Gandalf is good only until Rohan is ready to counter him, you know? Trying to firm, uh, farm power points, but it won't be happening. And Rohan has almost the money for ends. Let's see if this siege will make it. The thing is, this is a bad spot for the for the end mood. If he goes for the end mood here, the trebuchet will be able to counter this immediately. He's gonna go for the end mood. Um, when he has Firestone in time, which he has, he can now bring this three trebuchet to this location, and I'm pretty sure that he can reach this area with this trebuchets, you know? And with Firestone, he can just shoot at them, they will insta-burn, and they will feed lots of power points to Gondor. The win condition here is, as always, Gandalf the White, and he can still pull off some tricks. The trebuchet are exposed, but are not seen. I mean, Rohan has no vision around them. Rohan is not able to see them. That's the fog of war. He's only able to see Faramir and the trebuchet here. The end mood is building up, and the very soon the ends will go to war, ladies and gentlemen. Who's me right now? Bring your pretty face to my axe! Bring your pretty face to my axe. The score is 1-0 for Achilles, but it looks like Pingu is going to be able to win this game. But I don't want to jinx it, though. It's not over until it's over. Now, the shot. Boom. Chunking. Now, the end is burning. But remember, the, the end won't burn permanently anymore. It's going to get one more shot. Boom. Beautiful chunking. But you can always put him on the water, so it should be good. The last march of the ants begins. If you put your trebuchet on the right at the edge of the wall and they break the wall, your trebuchet is going to be destroyed. You need to move your trebuchet. Move it a little bit. Because if this wall will be destroyed, this trebuchet is gone. It's a lot of money you will lose if you don't move. Yeah, look, I told you. It's gone. Gondor has map control at the top side though, but one part of the wall has been broken already. The ants will get fired now from the oof chang 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 now you need to run run look you see Gandalf can't even fully charge and use his uh, lightning sword the ants can just enter the water i'm under the water you know and no power points for Gandalf no power points for Gandalf two parts of the wall broken it's more expensive now to repair the wall it's 2200 in, the, in total you need to invest to repair it and Gondor can't afford to do this. Ooh, nice dodge. Like, you see, Rohan is always trying his best to deny po power points from Gondor. That's really good. Two parts of the wall broken. Why is he angry now? Why is he angry now? A wizard Where is Gandalf? Gandalf is here. Nor is he early. 
He arrives precisely when he means to. Oh, look, the end will... His timer will run off. But Rohan has, I believe, so much money, right? No, he doesn't. Look, Gondor is in the meantime taking over the map, though. Like, that's really good for him. I like it. Aragorn is showing up. Aragorn can be sent into a solo mission. One does not simply walk into Mordor, but one does can just simply walk into now is the Gondor. Time to show the Easter, he won't hurt him. He has, East, uh, he has Blade Master and Anduri Sword. He's super tanky. And Aragorn can just do what he's doing. Oh, the charge. Oh, he's repairing, but it's a little bit too late. So, Theoden, close the gate. Oh, Theoden is out. <laughs> he's like, I'm out there. We can have died in a second, boy. But Theoden is out. <laughs> Theoden is like, let me in. Let me in. No blast. I, I think he didn't blast. Oh, but everything is getting murdered by this level 7 Knight of Gondor, bro. Oh my god, everything is getting murdered here. No way. No way. <laughs> what is this game? Oh my god. Protect me, soldiers of Gondor. Oh, Rohan. Oh, look, Legolas is going to feed too. Ooh, Aragorn will also die here, by the way. That's, oh my god, Aragorn is sitting so hard. Holy guacamole, Aragorn is a one-man army there. Kill the big heroes first. Faramir, Eom is dead. Eowyn is dead. Level 9 knights. But they are recovering it well over and over again. You know, that's the problem. You see, they are recovering over and over again. So Aragorn can kill them slowly, but he's going to feed now. Eagles will be unlocked. And Gondor has 2,000 in the bank. He's going to use the heal, the Atelas, to, uh, the heal. But the chunking is crazy. He's gonna eventually, he can make it to the wall. But in a dream world, let, ooh, look, look the damage from Aragorn. Don't lose the level 9, don't lose the level 9. Farami finish him off. He's dancing around the Rosie. Who can he finish him off before Aragorn kills him? Yes, okay. Farami has shown his quality, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, 4,000. The thing is, the most funny thing is, Theodin couldn't make it inside, dude. Theodin couldn't make, if Theodin would be inside, that it would be a different situation. Without Theoden, they have no armor leadership, these horses. And he underestimated the DPS of a level 7 knight. They, they were level 7 by the time. And with, next to the statue, they are dealing heavy damage. Oh my god. He's summoning the eagles. Dodd, if this game kind of turns around, I would be super surprised, actually. Legolas, kill him again! Ooh, that's feeding now. That's actually feeding now. Oh my god, it's feeding. That's feeding lots of power points. Holy quackamo. He has already three power points out of the head. And Theoden is gonna die too. The eagles. Oh, Theoden is dead too. Oh my god. There is no shot. I mean, Gondor is poor, but he doesn't need money when he has power points, right? He has four power points in total. The eagles are smashing. Can they finish off? They can finish off. They have still the time. They will finish off the Citadel too. Oh my god. The ends are going to war. End special summon from the other side of the map to break more parts of the wall. Uh, remember, there is a level, knight, a level 9 Knight of Gondor. Don't underestimate him, man. And here, Rohan has no leadership on his horses. That's the problem he has. He has no Eoma leadership. He has no Theodin. His Citadel has been destroyed. He has no outpost to revive his heroes from. Yes, Rohan is because of the map control. He has 7,000 in the bank. Yes, the money advantage, but it doesn't matter if you can't use the money properly. The ends will break finally the well. And he's repairing this part of the wall too, right? I mean, Gondor is poor. He can't, but whatever, he, but he can always cancel this to get the money back, right? The Rohirrim are just keeping the ends alive. That's their all goal, all mi only mission. Run is still the map control. Rebuilding the, the citadel, that's good. In a dream world, this end should destroy the citadel, which will delay the revival of Gandalf quite a lot. You know? The warning arrow, chunking. Ooh, the firestone, that's gonna be hurting. You can use heal if you have hit. Yeah, he doesn't. Yes, the heal, will he use it? Can he finish off this? Oh my god, if they can... Oh my god, he did it. He did it. The last shot. <laughs> the last shot of the ends. He did it. That's good for uh, Rohan, right? Because it will delay his scan off quite a bit. 
Like, Gandalf won't join the battlefield anytime soon. But because he just lost the momentum of Gandalf, he has now again the money to repair this part of the wall as well. Like, he can make a choice now. Will he go for the Gandalf or will he repair the part of the wall? I mean, Rohan has lots of money too, right? But this game isn't over yet because he just killed all the ants. He was even getting more power points from this. He has six power points in total in the bank. anymore he has to invest all the money to revive all his heroes look this we are talking about four heroes in total 2300 1100 1400 800 that's like 5000 of resources he needs to invest to revive all of them beside Eowyn which he can't even afford to revive but again luckily he has map control he has grand harvest on all of these farms they are all level three so he's getting some money Gondor is also getting some money um he has the chance to revive his Gandalf and almost repair the part of the wall too. I'm Yul, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Thirteen thirty-seven Jody Knight just subscribed. Welcome to Beyond Standards. Club. Thank you very much for the primaries. Thirteen thirty-seven Jod Knight. Thanks for the first time subbing to the channel. Really means a lot. I will change the song after this game. I think it's on uh, repeat. They got us. Not even exiting the <laughs> the castle too dangerous. Dude, if Theoden gets level 4, everything is possible. Oh, Rohan is going ham. He was able to get before the wall has been repaired. Now the Gondor can't even appro uh, enter his own base. Oh, that's feeding lots of power points now for Rohan. Does he have no post gate? It looks like he doesn't have a post gate, man. Where is the post gate? He doesn't have it. That's the problem. He can't enter his own castle. No, he has now finally... But they are... Oh my god, he's gonna lose a lot now. If he can destroy the Citadel, that's gonna again delay Gandalf quite a lot. Quite a bit. Because he was level 5, I mean, 2 minutes and 30, 20 seconds revive time. He can't get Gandalf back on the field anymore. <laughs> that's crazy. But he will kill lots of Rohirrim in exchange of that. Now, you tell me if it's worth it or not, right? If it's worth it or not. Gondor has 4,000, but he has, he's very close for the, for the EOD. Only two power points away. Rohan still needs seven in total. Seven power points. Legolas chilling. Very soon there will be eagles one more time. Eagles super, super strong summon. Eomar might die here if he doesn't pay attention. Eomar is dead. Eomar is dead. Uh, you can't fight this against level nine knights, man. That's not possible. Now Rohan is making lots of mistakes on repeat. Which is not very ideal. And he has no money to go for the end mood anymore. Aragorn has been revived finally. Level 7 Aragorn, no? But it's a bad timing because by the time Aragorn joins, he has almost the, power, he has almost the Eagles back up. And Eagles will finish off Aragorn, which will also mean that he will get the EOD after killing Aragorn. So now, with the EOD, you can crush the gate in a second, even if it's opened, you know? And he has very strong Knights of Gondor. He has level 5 level 7 and i believe he's a level 10 somewhere too yeah level 10 so with these three knights of gondor in the combination of eod you can just break the gate and i believe you can destroy the castle in a in a few seconds it's how strong this army is attempt number three will he be able to get him on the field this time oh i knew it Oof, what a PowerPoint gain. Yeah, what a PowerPoint gain. He will get EOD now from his Eagles. So the point, there is no point to sit here, I think. He has the EOD now. Yeah. Now the question is, will he use EOD defensively? I hope not. They will just make the, prolong the game a little bit. I mean, I, I still can't believe that we found ourselves in a situation like this, to be honest with you. Like, Rohan had such a massive advantage. Like, him him preparing the walls here. Oh my god, awesome epic guys with the rate of 328. Thank you very much. Welcome everybody to the stream. 
Could it give me one stream, the battle for middle earth one stream? Let me if I um, let me check if I have the follower mod only. If I have, I will disable it. I will disable it so you can you guys can all type. Okay, now you don't need to be follower to type on the on the stream. Welcome everybody to the stream. Thank you very much for the read. EOD was used um, for defense, defensive purposes. Aragorn is able to fight back a little bit, just like in the films, you know? Yeah, imagine following. I, mean, I don't, I don't want to force people to follow when they are coming from a raid, you know? If you are wondering what this is, this is Battle for Middle of One, guys. And we have currently a tournament going on for this scheme for $250. That might not sound crazy, but it's a lot for a 20 years old game. And it's a quarterfinal in the upper side bracket between Achilles and Pingu. You are just in time for the game number two in the best of five. The player who gets three wins is going to move to the semifinals. And it looks like it will be Gondor, even though it was looking so bad for him. And Gandalf has been finally revived, Gandalf the White. The thing is, Rohan is still safe because Gondor has not the chance to siege him anytime soon. He needs to go for the outpost control, make some trebuchet, go for the siege. It will take him some time. We are free. <laughs> you can, you guys, by the way, the everybody who is new to the channel, you guys can download all of these games, BFME 1, 2 and Rise of the Witch King and play them online for free all you need to do is type exclamation mark launcher in the chat the launcher will give you the chance to download all the base games with the patches and through it you can click on online which will enable the online launcher you will make an account and you can just play online with your friends with random people there is a quick match too so you just basically search find game and play there is a ranking system there are replays you can download like there have been lots of new stuff to the BFME in the last couple of months and making the download and installation of the games way easier was one of, one of the main goals which we luckily achieved so you can be a part of it you now yeah he was building we need to build a wall <laughs> 8000 for the for the wall true true I mean he's still a huge army draw here in player the Rohan player the thing is, he needs to be fast. Like, basically, when you see your opponent has EOD, the ultimate summon, and you don't, then you need to make sure to... F Ooh, boom! <laughs> but we have the White Wizard. This has to be good for something. He's gonna use the Easter Light on Theorin. That's gonna chunk him. Ooh, 1 HP left. <laughs> 1 HP left. Because he was level 3, otherwise he would be dead by now. Ooh, does he heal? No... Oh, the trample. He was trampling the great company. They couldn't get to shoot. Okay. Oh my god. He's so he's so close to level 4, by the way. He's so close to level 4. If he gets level 4, it can change everything. The glorious charge. But it looks like he will be able to survive this. That's the best thing that could happen. Oh, don't stop. He stopped for no reason. I will show you guys how to use the launcher later on. Wonder Whale, thanks for the primers for the first time subbing to the channel. Really means a lot. Welcome to the stream. Wonder Wonny just subscribed. Welcome to Beyond Standards Crew. Thank you very much. So basically, when you play online with the launcher, there is a free play function. Free play is working like Redmin VPN. Or working like oh the cloud break stun. Uh, oh they can't move. <laughs> you shall not move, son. Yeah, yeah, that's how it is, man. That's how it is. Cloud break. That's it. Now Rohan has not much population left anymore, as you can see. Twenty. 20 from 250 available command points, Elma, and only two Rohirrim warriors were able to survive this fiesta. Fiesta. 
and through the free play function you can host your own rooms you can play any mod you want you can you invite your friends you can start the game and then you go after the game starts you go on a multiplayer network host a game your friend will be joining you and you can play online look at the minimap like that's the vision of rohan yes he's blind like he doesn't see anything from the map anymore such a great start but he couldn't finish it off you can play campaign i mean i don't know like dfme is one of these games i think it's like a it became already a classic you know like classic nostalgia 20 years by now 20 years anniversary for bfm1 it is Ron is trying you know Ron is trying but i don't think he can make it i don't think he can make it like you see he was wasting too much time I'm not wasting too much time but army after that is almost back up and he doesn't even need to siege anymore he just summons eod breaks the gate and goes in eod in very close level four very very close level four but all parts of the wall have been repaired there is no entrance yes minas tirith too elms deep minas tirith all of that stuff Black Gate. Basically, the campaign of PFM1 gives you the chance to play the trilogy. You start at the Mines of Moria, and then you go to Helm's Deep, Minas Tirith, Black Gate to finish off the campaign. Oh, level 4, finally! Oh my god, he was trying to break the gate, but, uh, but um, the Trebuchet with Firestone and Gandalf were able to stop. But he was breaking the gate anyway. Now, breaking the gate is working different than breaking the parts of the wall because you can't insta repair it. It will take you time. That's why in most situations, I believe it's better to just break the gate because your opponent can't do to you what he just did before to... Hold on. He's trying to get power points, but he's not getting anything. He still needs five full power points and Gondor is now coming. Oh yeah, he's gonna use the EOD. Fight for me and I will reward you. Look, the gate is gonna get crushed. Even if you open the gate, doesn't matter. Now you can, you see? Opening the gate won't help anymore, my friend. It's fixed. You know what I'm saying? The eagles. And he has even the power points to summon the Rohirrim too. Now he's going inside the bees to finish what's remaining from Rohan. Aragorn. Trying, what can the one man do against such reckless hate? Getting crushed by the AOD. No heal. Does he have heal from the spellbook? No, he doesn't. Eagles will be killing him. Eagles are just crazy strong. Like they are DPS against heroes. They are like hero killers, you know? They are so incredible strong. I mean, this was your game, Pingo, though. This was really your game. I think you had such a great start. And you was patient too. The one mistake was leading to many more mistakes but this was your game but it's not over yet it's best of five it's 2-0 and we have seen already in the past that comebacks are indeed possible he's well played